Alright, well, um, yeah, guys, welcome back to some more <laughs> Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Um, damn, hold on. So, um, yeah, I just hopped back on the game. You might have noticed that in the last episode, I pretty much, I pretty much dead, dead seriously did not figure out, like, um, figure out where to, uh, well, how to progress? How to progress the story? I should say that. I still see nothing. You need to focus, my dear friend. Watch me. Uh, wow. Okay. Flash is a merment. I don't. I don't. I don't want to solve that. Okay. Hold on. All right. But uh, yeah. So far, we need to go to the police station and we need to figure out what exactly we're looking for. Huh? My friend, let's go to Grand Sally. Victims. No misdemeanor, no smuggling, property crime, violent crime, complaints. Okay, hold on. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. We finally got something. All I found in the archives was an empty folder label. I don't know how to say that word. Case of Violet Holmes, April 9th, 1869. Stonewood Manor, Cran Saray. There are no documents inside at all. It seemed that there really was a police investigation, yet all the case files are missing. Oh, there's a mystery. There's something that they don't want us to know. Okay. Oh. We got a cutscene. Okay. Wait, is this us as a little kid? Going back down memory lane a little bit? John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona. In a manner. Okay, let me stop. And I'm about to say something crazy. Policeman. Really? Fam, well, why are you on the freaking how you even get up there? Memory was vague. A, a mere flash. We have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. Missing police files. Okay. So whatever's going on, clearly somebody doesn't want us to know what went down so long ago. Pretty much his mother's death is it's very clear at this point. Something clear happened to his mother. I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished. As if we weren't on demand enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk. Like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, that, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. Oh, okay. All right, what's up? So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. The first targets are in the next room. You know what to do with them. I'll join you in a while to see the results. All right. Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how to do it. Hooray. Proceed to the next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paper. Come on, Sherry. It's just like in childhood. Steady, Sherry. Steady and 
Go. My favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike the ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage. Don't forget the environment. I could do this all day. Please don't, Sherry. We don't have that much time. Let's move on. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their arms. Uh-oh, Sherry. Not a nice shot. You could have killed him if he was alive. Hey. All right, let's move on. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all calculated. Shuff box. Ah, Sherry, you guessed that you can't use the powder when he has a helmet. I've been sending you brain signals. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here, take these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? Always ready. Then let's get cracking. All right. Not at all. I can hit them all with one shot. Good luck, Sherry. And remember, the surroundings are your playground. Oh, first taste of combat for episode two. I'm coming for you. I thought we were against murder. Oh, right. I was supposed to kill him. What do you think you're doing? You could have injured the poor fella. I can't allow you to carry a gun if you'll only use it to kill. Your task is to detain. Don't forget that. Once again, without the brutal shootout this time. Let's start over. All right. Boys. God damn it. I'm coming for you. Oh shit. Okay. Um Mr. Party. Oh, I'm supposed to move the mouse. Oh my god. That's that's actually pretty weird. Come on, come on. Hit, hit, hit. Yeah! There we go. Okay. Too simple. Wait, how do I, how do I lock you up? Wait. Oh! I didn't see you. There you are, there you are. No! Hit the damn thing! What? X! Time to knock this guy out. Ow. 
That's gonna be a little bit hard to get used to. All right, I did it. You've proved yourself. Congratulations on the arrests. I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona won't ever forget it. But at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Thank you. Now you're a certified crime scene consultant. Yep. That means I can now shoot you in the face as well. Ah! Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? Is this it? Hey, Sherry. There's post here. And it seems as if the letter was the... Okay. All right. Um, My brother... Malkov, Malkov letter, Sherlock. I hope this letter doesn't does not reach you, for it would mean you have committed to your absurd fight flight of fancy. The past is the past. To extend, to expend, extend. I'm gonna say extend. I don't know that. That's not extend. I know. Any more time and energy. Retreat. Re threading one steps is at best childish indulgence and at worst pathological weakness. Consumption is an ugly end and you were better off for not witnessing it despite all your protests. Protestation. One presumes by now you have visited our mother's final resting place. I trust that this is satisfied your ambitious impulses and frees you to return you to return to London at once it is your it is time to turn your back on what was and help shape what you could be the nation needs you okay after reading that I am even less eager to return home than before let's investigate our manner that's the mind say say no more The old family home. There she is. Our old manor. It's smaller than I remember. You were a couple of feet shorter back then, Cherry. Or maybe it's bigger on the inside. I'm gonna explore. I did not expect these to still be here. It was enjoyable to practice using real handcuffs to make an arrest. And this must be the reason our suspect was apprehended. Wood and glass are very precious. An irreplaceable tool for catching a thief. Hey, that's Wood and Joe. <laughs> he was always the best at playing criminals. Okay. Strange. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess he always wanted to be a, de a detective. I guess. Wait, hey, Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, sure the oh, okay. Oh, that's to get the hell out of me. Hearing of a fight. All right. <laughs> you can afford another night or two at the hotel. Hmm. Oh well. Let's just head back. They probably haven't even stripped our room yet. Come on. <clears throat> Must be locked. Move aside. Let me have a go. Seems fine to me, Sherry. This barrier. Perhaps it's mental, not physical. Or perhaps the rest of us are simply constrained by reality, John. I wonder if there's a key secreted somewhere in the garden. Try to recall that memory about the policeman, Sherry. Concentrate. Wait, I just thought about that. Is John... No, I'm not going to say that. For a second, I'm about to say, is John real or is he... That'd be that'd be funny if John wasn't real. He's actually just a piece of uh, Sherlock's uh, consciousness. That actually would be pretty fucking dope. Why 
does this barn give me such an unpleasant feeling? Oh, I know. It's because Mycroft used an axe to shoo you out of here. It scarred you for life, but I enjoyed it. Of course you did, because you're evil. I f freaking knew it. Tell me, Arjun. The manor all to ourselves. Can you believe it, Sherry? I have so many ideas. I don't want to know. Wait, okay, I'm so confused. Hold on. Okay, there it is. Oh my god. Okay, policeman. Yeah. The policeman brought us both home, John. That's why he was here. I'm pretty sure he brought something else with him, too. Do you remember what it was? I bet it was our reward. No, we were not so lucky. It was a set of lockpicks that we had used to sneak into someone's house. That's why we were arrested. Did someone come out to investigate all the commotion? Wow, y'all really forgot all about that. It was Father? Mycroft. He smoothed oh, things over on. and convinced the policeman not to press charges. The officer left and never returned. But we had to endure a serious talking to from my brother. Okay, Malkroff was, was his we brother. Arrested. It felt like he lectured us for hours. Did we give him something afterwards, Sherry? Oh, yes. Yes, now I remember. It was a letter. That's why we snuck into the house. Mycroft asked us to. He wasn't angry we stole, but that we got caught. Oh, that's right. It must have been only a couple of months after we moved to Cordona. Oh, the good old days. Whoa. How very odd. It appears that memory stood between me and the manor. It, it's as if my mind palace had seeped into the real world. This deserves further investigation. Perhaps there's more to discover inside. As long as there is a comfortable place to put my feet up, I'll be happy. Maybe a chaise long. Aha. In we go. Okay, I think John is real. I just over exaggerate the fuck out of that. Oh. I'm so sorry. I forgot the camera's right in front of me. Hey, but how y'all doing? Let's just, let's just take a second. Let's just, I just want to take a second to ask how you doing today. You doing alright today? Well, I hope you are. Because God loves you and so do I. I'm sorry, I just gotta take a second to do that. I know it's weird. I know it's weird that I did that, but come on. I, I just wanna make sure y'all enjoying the content, okay? Should keep, try to keep y'all heads in the game, you know what I'm saying? Sherry. I remember how angry Mycroft was about these marks. He called it a frivolous, childish endeavor. Hey yo, you were you were children back then, so hey. What's it what's the issue? I think our family portrait used to hang here. Yep. Alright. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. I heard footsteps upstairs a second ago. Wait, do we have an attic here? Yes, we have an attic. I'm pretty sure we do. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Okay. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can wow, you're just gonna lock everything, huh? Alright. Just 
just not mine the secret door fucking I heard footsteps upstairs a second ago wait do we have an attic here another one there must be something important behind it I can feel it there must be something important behind it I can feel it Alright, we have been instructed that the public auction will take place on the 20th of July at Stonewood Manor. A lot have been selected from the finest pieces of property owned by the home family and have been vacated, evacuated by experts. And okay. I was wondering why it's so empty in here. There may be a small chance that some of our... Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Uh, I completely skipped that dialogue. Whoops. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Oh, hold on. Okay. So let's go to the book. Mother's Love. Pin it. Boom. Oh, wait. Okay, well, that, that was pointless. Alright, um, Tales of Empty House. Cross umbrella, the only outgoing thing in his wardrobe. Damn. <laughs> Not really oh, attacked. This him. is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? One of the first things I saw when entering this house as a child. It's like deja vu. Okay, so strange. I struggle to recall anything about the day we moved in. The only detail I'm sure of is that it was raining early that morning. Okay, so First man on Cardo Cardona. Okay. There was always a hat on our stand, but I'm sure it did not belong to Mycroft. Our mother brought a slew of belongings with her. She refused to leave a single thing in London. Mycroft had to spend the whole day dealing with it. Damn. Typical mother. This trip was a challenge for our mother. I tried to help her. Do you feel it? Is it the air shimmering? Or is it my imagination? Oh. Oh, time to go back through memory lane. Wait. Wait, how am I supposed to construct this one? Wait, oh my god, I realized I told we brought in the luggage with us mainly because our mother refused to leave London. <laughs> he was busy. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So, 
Yeah. He was busy dealing with voice has some woman. She tried tried to help her. Always a hat. Co hanger, but it belonged to someone. Sometimes we have frequent guests. Okay, so it had to be you. You and then that this has to be it, right? You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay. That was all right. I should have went with my. I wish I went with my gut. I'm thinking too much. Closer to the sea in such cases. Thank you, Doctor Richter. No, Sherlock, step away from her. Upstairs. Go to your room. Lean on me. Mom. God damn it. Take your time. Actually, I never heard her coughing. I remember now. Oh. Well, that's kind of strange. She's sick. We should have known that. We arrived in the, the early morning of a rainy day. Shirley's mother was weak and unstable, so he tried to help her. Makarov was very serious while dealing with luggage. When he saw Sherlock trying to help his mother up, he commanded him to go upstairs to go upstairs to his room. To our room. The last person to arrive was the doctor, Otto Richer, who said that the neighbors will believe that Violet has tu tuberculosis. Sh Sherry just realized that he never heard her coughing. Mmm, which is even more suspicious. Because it's kind of strange. I feel dizzy. It's stuffy in here, isn't it? John, are you alright? I'll be okay in a minute. <clears throat> How about we uh, find our room in the meantime? Oh, well, you know, I'm gonna go. Let's go! Oh, wrong way. All right, let's go. Oh, okay, just go right through. At this, it's like traveling ten years into the Once past. Once upon a time, hey. Hardly satisfied. Oh, oh, it reminds me of our neighbor. He had the same balloon in his yard, only bigger. Do you remember? Yes. We visited him several times while living here. Need to repeat this one day, but with bullets. Bullets? Hey, yo. Coal dust from Miner's End, sandy dirt from the old city. We scoured the island top to bottom for these soil samples. Mm. Jesus Christ, I'm about being smart kids. The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. Look at this, John. Remember how desperately I wanted to learn the violin? I never had a proper opportunity. Such a shame. I always hated the rule about being silent in this place. The only fiction book on my table. I can still hear my mother reading it to me. So many pleasant evenings were spent here with the Encyclopedia Americana. Americana. There I go. Interesting. What's that over there? This doorknob has a cross-shaped end. Too intricate to be merely a handle. You know what? Hmm? That definitely looks like a key. Let's poke around and see if we can find any secrets. You say again. A magnificent tool made for a spurious purpose. Staring into the sky. I've definitely found a better use for it. You mean for spying on people?
cannot believe all my toys are still here. Hey, they were not just yours. They were half mine, too. An artifact from Palau carved out of bone and claimed to be 300 years old. My mother proved it was a fake. My very favorite plaything. It was the perfect pirate treasure. Oh, these must be the notes of my earliest observations. We wanted to locate a particular dog we'd spotted, and we met it, didn't we? I'll never forget how challenging it was to obtain this simple sketch. Oh, oh wait, huh? Time to find a hidden room. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Something did happen that day, but no one can tell us the details. How can that agree? This is the luggage. It's we rather suspicious. Mind palace. Okay. Muslov. Imaginary friend John. Friendly neighbor. Missing records. The family friend. While there are no records of my mother's death, we had a family friend on on Cardona who may know of something. Ah. Okay. See, I'm starting to get the hang of this. My crop. Mycroft lied. Mycroft hid the truth about the death of our mother and lied when he told me that she died from turkey. Oh, so it's possible his brother lied to him about the death of a mother. Wasn't that neighbor missing a finger? That does sound vaguely familiar. Wasn't his name uh, Theodore, Theodore Gildon, perhaps? It's the perfect time to investigate. 